Hey everybody, thanks for logging on to agreenday.org. I'm Green Tea and this is Darlene Riley. She's the CEO of agreenday.org and we're catching up with you today in the beautiful Malibu. We're here at Boo Fest where so many green people have come out for the music festival because we understand this year there's a green twist to everything. Is that right? Yes, they are. They are trying to be a little bit more green uh, conscious, uh, eliminating plastics from the environment and uh, just bringing awareness to everybody. And that's why you're here because that's exactly what your company does. So, agreenday.org. Tell me how the company got started, the history of the company. Well, uh, I decided in September that I was going to do something a little bit more environmentally conscious. And I woke up one day and designed a reusable dry cleaning garment bag. And uh, in November, launched the company, and now I'm here today. So, when you got started creating your dream, what were some of the challenges or obstacles or things you learned about making these garment bags? The manufacturing. Uh, keeping it here in the United States, it's very important. I'm very proud to say that my company is 100% USA made and uh, with that comes a lot of trials and um, a lot of money spending in manufacturing and um, it was painful because the labor and keeping, it, keeping the fabric here and not having it outsourced overseas it's triple the cost and triple the labor cost, but I finally found the right manufacturing, thankfully, and now I'm able to offer my products at a very competitive rate, and uh, hopefully we'll start to take off now. Okay, so tell us about your beautiful website. We've been clicking around on here, and tell us about the design behind it. Tell us how that all came to fruition. Okay, well, uh, when I was designing the bag, I thought it'd be really, really cool if I could get uh, a cool art design on it, make it a little bit more trendy. So as I was walking into a, um, a friend of mine who was making my prototypes, I noticed an art piece on the wall and it was of an uh, image that her daughter did of herself. Um, and I fell in love with it and I said, who did this art? And she said, that was my daughter. And I said, I need to meet her. And that is how the first design of the global bag. Mm -hmm. So the two girls that designed it is Samantha and Diana Slavic. They're out of Crystal Lake, Illinois. They designed that first image. I have a couple more designs from them that I will be launching. Um, and quarterly, we will be changing the designs. That bag is specifically uh, for the purpose of raising money, um, awareness, and it will be used as a charitable global bag. Our other bags that we have are more for commercial dry cleaners and the everyday use, but that global bag is a very special bag. So tell us how the bags work. Let's say I get my bag and I'm ready to use it. What are the, the steps? One, two, three. How does it work? Tell us. Mandy Mile, our assistant here, she's standing here with the fabulous global bag. She's going to demonstrate on how easy it is to use our reusable dry cleaning garment bag. First, she's going to place it on the hook. She's placing it on the hook. There you go. Then she's going to show you the opening where you place your soil clothes inside the bag. There's a drawstring to, to close it. You flip the bag over, carrying the bag with your soil clothes to the dry cleaners, dropping the bag off to the dry cleaners, leaving the bag with the dry cleaners, only to have your clothes returned inside the bag. Clean, reused, and beautiful. Okay, so this bag doubles as a dirty clothes bag and as your clean, dry clothes garment bag that covers your dry cleaning when you pick it up, right? Yes, it does. That's the ultimate recycling and reusing, right? Yes, <laughs> reuse, recycle, reuse. Right, yeah. I love it. Okay, so how much of a carbon footprint do you think that that's going to reduce if we do our job properly with your bag? Oh, I'm so happy that you, that you mentioned that because, believe it or not, on average, 12 pounds of plastic come, comes from one home in one year. So if you take that on average for, per home in five years, that's 60 pounds of plastic. And through a lifetime, that's 1,500 pounds of plastic. Now, if you can visualize 1,500 pounds of plastic of that dry cleaner coming from one home, that's enough to stop, you know, and to have an impact and be completely aware that that's your impact into this dry cleaning. Even if you say that you don't do a lot of dry cleaning, I hear I hear a lot, you know, I don't really go to the dry cleaners that often. I maybe go once or twice a month. Well, that's enough to make an impact. We need to be aware, reuse, and be conscious of it. Okay. 
So we can start the trend so that when we, when we go to the dry cleaners, people will start to see me using my green bag. And they'll say, wait a minute, look what she's doing. And it's just, so that's one of the things we can do as customers with your green bag is to get everybody to catch on. And the more people that do this, the more plastic we're going to save and we're going to reduce our carbon footprint, right? Exactly. And I want to know, like, I bet there's a bunch of celebrities because celebrities like to step up and lead the way with being green. Who are some of the, the celebrities that are already using your green bag? Uh, well, we were invited to the Oscars in 2009 and the NAACP Awards. We were able to give the uh, bag to Russell Simmons, to Holly Berry, to um, Seal, Michelle Obama, Oprah Winfrey. Oh gosh, about, I don't know, 300 celebrities that we've had. Uh, Those are some good celebrities. Yeah, Pink, we've had, a, we've given the bag to Pink, we've Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, Helen, the generous. Wow. I don't know. That's awesome. So I'm going to be looking all cool with my green bag, knowing that I'm among all the green celebrities that are doing our part to make the world a greener place. Yeah. And another fun, exciting thing about your bag I was seeing is that, tell me about this the um, part where we you can uh, somebody can put their own logo on your bag. Tell us how that works. Yeah, there's a, a, a commercial bag on the nylon bag that where you can actually place your logo on it and advertise your business, whether it be hotels, spas, um, dry cleaners, however you want to promote your business and going green, this is a fab fabulous way to do it. So that means that when your bag comes around at the dry cleaner, people will see your logo, right? Promoting your business, just like a billboard. All right. I love it. It's like a little advertising space, right? Exactly. Walking billboard. Because you may have your dry cleaning hanging in your car and make sure the logo is pointing out so that when you're driving around up and down the freeway, there's your little, there's your billboard, right? Exactly. So we're having a blast out here at Boo Fest. This is the music festival where everybody is green, including a greenday.org. So what does it mean to you? What does being green mean to you? Green to me is trying to help the environment every way that you can being responsible for your actions, being resourceful by using and reusing items, and not being wasteful. You don't have to go crazy and buy everything green, but you just have to be responsible with your choices and reuse. And don't waste. It's just horrible how much we waste and how much plastic is littered onto our freeways and into our oceans. Stop the pollution. No. And you're doing your part because your bags are made of recycled plastic bottles, is that right? Yes, that is correct, yeah. So tell us about the plant or the factory where all this, where these are um, created. Okay. Well, uh, there's actually several different locations and it's not actually manufacturing, it's a cut and sew operation and there's um, a Veterans Federation that we're trying to get involved and in helping the veterans when they come home from war to help keep them employed. That's how we're able to keep our costs low and also to get the McDonald's Training Center involved. So what brings you out to Malibu? <laughs> oh, what else? The sun, the music, awareness, just exposing the brand and keeping it real, just giving the energy out there because it really is all about pushing good energy and vibe and making people aware that it's good to be green. It can be hot, sexy, fun, and yeah. How did you come up with the name agreenday.org? Shouldn't we make it a green day? All right. It's a green day today here in Malibu. We are with Darlene Riley, the CEO of agreenday.org, and we are rocking. We are green rocking. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Rockin we are rocking it green. Please visit us at agreenday.org and make it a green day. And I'm Green Tea. Thanks for watching.